In this video, I'll show you how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. This is part one of the series. The question asks, combine and simplify. And we have two expressions. Before I tackle these expressions, I do want to break down how to add normal fractions, ones that do not contain any sort of letters. So pretend that we had the fractions 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4. The goal here is to make the denominators the same so that you can combine the numerators. This 2 and this 4 are different. So we have to make this 2 into a 4. And the way you can do that is you multiply this number by 2. And if you do that to the denominator, you have to do it to the numerator. And you end up with 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4. And now you can simply add the numerators where we end up with 5 over 4. And this is your combined fraction. So we'll use the same technique for A. Here you'll notice that the denominators are totally different. You have 2y here and you have an x, so therefore you cannot add the numerators together. To make this 2y into an x, and to make this x into a 2y, I'll multiply the denominator and the numerator of this fraction by x, and the denominator and numerator of this fraction by 2y. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll rewrite the question here. So like I said, I'll multiply this by x, and I'll multiply this and this by 2y. And here's what happens. We end up with x times x, which is x squared. This becomes 2xy, or you can write it as 2yx, it doesn't matter, minus 5 times 2y is 10y over the same denominator. The denominators now, which I'm highlighting, are the exact same. So we can add or subtract the numerators, whatever the case may be. In our case, it's subtract. But unfortunately, this term and this term are not like terms, so they cannot be combined. Your final answer becomes x squared minus 10y over 2xy. Before we move on to b, another way that you could tackle this question is to multiply the denominators from the get-go and cross-multiply the denominators with the opposite numerator. For example, 2y times x is equal to 2xy. And this denominator multiplied to this 5 gives us negative 10y because 2y times negative 5 is negative 10y. And you can write that here or here. I'll write it here, negative 10y. And similarly, x times x is equal to x squared. And you can write that here. And you'll end up with the same solution. In part b, we have this monomial x squared plus a fraction 5 over 2x. Let's use the same technique as we did at the beginning. We want to make the denominators the same. The denominator for this term is a 1. So let's rewrite this and I'll show you what I mean. So the denominator for this is a 1, but it's not shown. However, it's still there. The denominators are different, so we need to make them the same. I'll multiply this by 2x, and of course I have to do the same thing to the top, and look what happens if I do that. This term times this term gives us 2x to the power of 3. This term times 1 is 2x. I haven't multiplied this denominator by anything because I don't need to. Plus 5 over 2x. These denominators are the same, so I can write it once over the sum of these two terms, they're not like terms, so just leave them the way they are. Before we conclude, remember, this question could have been done the exact same way as the second method. You could have multiplied this 1 by this 5 and this 2x by this term and then multiplied the denominators and you would have ended up with the same solution. And so there you have it. That is how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. Make sure to watch part two for some more complicated examples.